Uh, I think our funds are well positioned for the challenges that lie ahead. Um, macro strategy is really important to me. I spend a lot of time thinking about it, and we we impute into the stock selection what we think is going to happen to the world economy. So, um, so our view is expressed in the stocks that we that we've selected, and, and embedded in that is our view on what's going to happen to the world economy. So, so we think we're set up well for the challenges that we see ahead. There are lots of dividend challenges in the market at the moment. Um, there are, I believe, a number of companies, big dividend payers in the UK market, that are paying unsustainable dividends. So we expect that the environment going forward will be very challenging for dividends. But there are equally many opportunities where we'll see lots of dividend growth coming through, and we position the fund to capture some of that dividend growth. So we're confident that we're in the right place to, to see good dividend growth. Well, lots of people are very excited about, about the changes that will come as a result of a Trump presidency. I think the market's probably overreacted. I think many of the things that Trump said on the campaign trail will just be undeliverable for all sorts of reasons. Um, the checks and balances in the US political system are designed to, to exert, if you like, uh, a control, if you like, ultimately, on the wishes of, a, of an incoming president. So my view is, is that some things will change at the margin, but, but the profound changes that people, are, I think, are beginning to think will happen as a result of Trump's presidency are, are exaggerated. I, I think he will be, um, he will be, to some extent, neutered by Congress and by the constraints that he has inherited from from Obama and and the budget deficit and all, all the other things that are that are constraining his ability to really deliver change. So I think I think the, the electorate in the U.S. who voted for Trump will end up in four years being quite disappointed actually.